I'm Marie Brennan, and I'm going to be reading a flash story from my collection, Never After, 13 Twists on Familiar Tales. This is, as you might guess, a collection of fairy tale based stories, all of which are to one degree or another on the somewhat twisted side. This one uh, comes with a trigger warning for suicidal ideation. Every moment, I dream of sleep. The light is too bright. A hundred years in darkness, now I must live and move in this world of light, and it hurts. I want to close my eyes, but people always interfere. You have such lovely eyes. Why do you close them? Are you afraid of what you might see? Yes. A world of light. A world of noise. Hammering at my eyes and ears that knew so many years of rest. But I cannot return to the darkness and silence, and so I endure each day, stoically. Waiting. For what? The final silence? I am young and strong. That day is far off. I will live for years, moving limbs that still feel asleep, flinching from the light, seeking out corners where few people go. They cluck their tongues in sympathy, whispering of the horror I have endured, the terrible curse that put me in darkness. Their pity threatens to choke me. Not one among them understands. A curse, yes, broken by a prince's kiss. Everyone knows the tale. The proof of it is before them. The beautiful princess, the handsome prince, ever at his new bride's side, ever concerned with her well-being. And so the curse goes on. Here, now, the fairy's true cruelty comes clear. Not the lassitude, the weariness, the century of gentle sleep. The light, the noise, the heat of people around me, servants, courtiers, the prince. Every day I pray that I may wake from this dream, wake back into my sleep, in the darkness, in the silence, in the peace. The fairy was too clever for that. This is no dream. I am awake, always awake. But there is a promise of escape. The brightness of a knife pressed against my skin, the only light I can bear. And every moment... I dream of sleep. That is from Never After, 13 Twists on Familiar Tales, and you can buy the ebook in the Bookview Cafe bookstore.